I'm James Turk. I'm a director of the Gold Money Foundation. And it's my pleasure to be here today with Felix Zuloff, the founder and chairman of Zuloff Asset Management in Zug, Switzerland. Felix, thank you for joining me today. I've got a number of questions that I want to ask you. I know you're one of the premier global macro thinkers in the world today. And I wanted to start with what's happening here in Europe. Um, the debt crisis, not only in Greece, but you know, as it seems to be spreading to others. Um, is the, con the debt contagion, the sovereign debt crisis going to continue to worsen? Um, I think so. The uh, uh, situation in Europe is uh, similar to elsewhere, uh, but it is compounded. Uh, the high debt is compounded by this uh, euro situation. And the euro is a, a terrible uh, a construction uh, because, be, be, because you have a, a line, a rift going between the center and the periphery. The center is basically a nation like Germany that is a saver and accumulates current account surpluses. And the periphery, uh, those are nations of debtors and they accumulate debt. And uh, a debtor nation is interested in inflating its way out of debt. And a saver nation is interested to uh, save and, and, and have a stable currency value. And therefore, the conflict between the two is of uh, profound depth and cannot be solved in the short term. And that is a conflict that will take time and probably several years. And therefore, we won't have a final solution quickly. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, without having a final solution, be it the fiscal union or, or, or whatever, uh, is one crisis after the other. And uh, each crisis can bring those two parties uh, one small step closer to each other without bringing the final solution. And usually politics is two steps behind uh, the markets and uh, uh, the realistic uh, uh, real economy situation. And therefore, there are some risks that uh, we are going to risk our banking system, which is uh, very fragile, uh, very uh, low ca uh, equity capitalization. And it's, it's, a, it's a horrible situation. A crisis, you say, can bring people together, but it can also move people apart. Isn't the crisis seem to be causing people to, to move apart? There seems to be friction now between different countries that probably didn't exist a few years ago. Actually, uh, you are right, uh, and I said it at the hour of birth of the euro, that uh, the euro will bring what it should prevent, uh, namely rising nationalism. And, uh, and I also said the euro has uh, uh, the power of dynamite like uh, the Versailles Treaty of 1918, mm. in a way. It disintegrates, it is a disintegrating project and not an integrating project as the politi politicians uh, uh, try to tell us. Yeah, you've been a Eurosceptic for quite some time. I assume you remain a Eurosceptic? Yeah, definitely. I, uh, I, you know, I don't see that uh, the European people are ready for the United States of Europe yet. Therefore, we won't have a political union. Without the political union, it will be very difficult to achieve a fiscal uh, union, liability union. Uh, therefore, it can be all, uh, all, only small steps uh, towards in that direction, but not a big step that would solve the problem. Yeah. And uh, that means that uh, eventually uh, poli politics is moving the burden to the central bank, to the ECB. The ECB wanted to pursue and follow the uh, philosophy of the old Bundesbank of money stability, uh, but it will be forced and pushed into the other direction. And I fear that the ECB will eventually become uh, um, like the Fed. Uh, a money printing entity uh, like MAD and that means that they have to weaken the euro in a way that even the weaker nations can live with that currency. Yeah, but isn't that what the ECB has become? It's become controlled by the politicians rather than being independent. You know, the fact that it bought the Greek bonds a year and a half ago and it's now got 160, 170 trillion of sovereign debt on its balance sheet even though the EU rules uh, say that it's not supposed to do that. Hasn't it already become a Federal Reserve, a politi politicized institution? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the ECB has been raped by, uh, by the European politicians, uh, uh, definitely. And uh, I think, I, I said at the beginning, the central bank, the ECB cannot win that battle. It will lose. Uh, the politics will win. 
And, uh, and that means we are very close to a change in the ECB uh, policies. Uh, they, they still remain tight uh, with liquidity and too high with short-term interest rates for the crisis situation we are in. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, they try to fix this and that problem by intervening in bond markets. Uh, but actually, I think they should rather spend the money to, uh, uh, to fix the equity capital of the banking industry.